Hello everyone. As we have already discussed about the area of rectangle and the area of square. Today we are discussing about other figures which are basically four sided figures. The first such figure is a parallelogram. When I am saying a parallelogram, that means these two sides AB and CD are parallel to each other and the remaining two sides that is AD and BC are also parallel to each other. When we have to find out the area of this parallelogram, we can convert this parallelogram into two triangles. One is triangle ADC and the another is triangle ABC. This is another triangle. Now we already know that in case of triangle, the area of a triangle is half base into height. In this case, this is basically the height. What we can say is the distance between the two parallel lines. So in the first triangle ADC, the area will become the base DC multiplied by the height AL and into half. So it is half, the base is DC and then this is multiplied by the height AL. This can be written as when the length of the side is given as B and the height is represented as H. This comes out to be half B into H. Same way if we talk about a triangle ABC, then also the length of AB and length of CD are both equal. On the other hand, if we draw a perpendicular from C on a line AB and this is CM. So this length CM is also equal to the length AN. So this is again half B into H. So the total area of these two triangles which is constituting a parallelogram becomes base into height. So when the area of triangle is half base into height but here there are two triangles so it comes out to be base into height. So the area of parallelogram is equal to base multiplied by height. When I talk about height, that means the perpendicular height between the two lines. The second is a figure rhombus. When I am saying rhombus, that means it is basically having all the four sides equal in length. Suppose the length of one side is A, then the length of all the four sides is A. If we talk about the perimeter of a rhombus, so the perimeter becomes A plus A plus A plus A, which is equals to 4A. But when we talk about the area of this rhombus, so first of all, we have to draw the two diagonals. One diagonal is AC, length is D1. Another diagonal is BD and the length is D2. Again, as we have uh, drawn two diagonals, so we can divide the whole rhombus into two triangles. One is triangle ADB and the another is triangle DBC. When I am saying that the length of AC is D1, that means from A to a point O, which is the center point, the length becomes D1 upon 2. So the length of A, O is D1 upon 2. So if we talk about a triangle ADB and the area is half, the base is the length BD and the height is the length AO. When we talk about BD, we already know the length of BD is D2. So this comes out to be half of D2 multiplied by AO and AO is D1 upon 2. So this is the area of a triangle ADB. If we look at the another triangle that is DBC, again the area comes out to be the same. So again we can write plus half of 
P2 multiplied by D1 upon 2. When we add these two, then it becomes 1 upon 2 D1 into D2, and this is the area of our rhombus. So area of rhombus becomes half the product of two diagonals. The third figure which we can talk about is a trapezium. This is a trapezium. In the trapezium, the two lines that is AB and CD are parallel to each other while the remaining two AD and BC are non-parallel. This is the difference between these two figures. In parallelogram, both pair of parallel sides are parallel, both pair of opposite sides are parallel, while in this case only one pair of the opposite side is parallel to it. Again, we can draw this into two triangles by dividing the trapezium into two portions. One is triangle ABC and the another is triangle ABC. If the length of BC is given as B and the length of AB is given as A and the height is again the perpendicular height between the two is given as H. So from the first triangle that is ADC the area comes out to be half multiplied by the base into height. But if we look at the triangle ABC then we have to draw it this, like this. If we look at the area of triangle ABC then it is again base multiplied by the height between the two or we can draw the height in this case as well. It is plus the area of triangle ABC is half multiplied by the base. The length of the base will remain A only. It will not be from A to O but it is up to from A to B only. So this is A multiplied by the height and that is H we have already defined. So the area becomes half H is common A plus sorry it can be written as B plus A and this can also be written as A plus B. So this is basically half the sum of length of parallel sides multiplied by distance between them. And this distance between them is at the perpendicular distance. This is the area of trapezium. So these are basically the three different kind of figures which comes under quadrilateral. And in the next uh, video, we will discuss about the problems which are based on this. Thank you.